Good morning everyone, today's video is all being recorded with the Sony Xperia Z2. Yes, it's going to be one of those days where I record with a particular device I've got into review. And today it's the turn of the Sony Xperia Z2. Now this particular segment is being recorded with the front facing camera. So it's being recorded at 1080p resolution, that's the maximum resolution that front facing camera supports. And then it's going to be upscale to 4K. The rest of the video for the rest of the day, including the segment you saw before this, is all recorded with the rear facing camera in full 4K resolution. So we are now back to recording in 4K. And this is all being handheld. This is in my studio and the lighting conditions are far from perfect. It's quite an overcast day in the southeast of the UK today. But I thought I'd give you a little look around my desk just so you can see how this actually refocuses when you move in and out of particular objects. It's a good indication of how well this camera will actually perform for you if you're planning on doing this sort of video work. So let's have a little look over here. This is what I normally record with. A lot of people ask this. This is the Sony RX100 Mark II. This is what I normally record my daily videos with. I think it does a pretty good job from what I'm seeing on the screen of actually refocusing. Let's have a look at this little fella here. Okay, is it going to refocus on him? There we go, that's pulled into focus now. Looks very, very clear on the screen. And of course, on the Sony Xperia Z2, which is different to the Galaxy S5 from Samsung, we have got image stabilization whilst we're recording at 4K resolution. So now I'm in much better lighting conditions. I'm actually on the other side of the studio with a couple of studio lights on as well. And I wanted to catch you up with what I've been up to today. So all of this morning I've been doing further research because I'm actually looking at adding some new furniture to the studio. And a really exciting time ahead because I've got some new technology coming in which I want to show you and actually integrate into not necessarily the daily videos that I produce on the Geek and Noise channel but certainly for some very exciting videos that are coming up. I also had some review products come in, so let's show you those. So they're down here, and I've got a couple of battery cases from Incipio for the iPhone 5 or 5S. The Off Grid Pro, which is really interesting. This is like a battery case, but it comes with removable batteries, and you get a spare battery and charger inside the packaging. So really excited to actually test that one out. The next one along is just uh, the regular off-grid. This is slightly thinner case and it doesn't have a removable battery, but still really useful 2600 milliamp hour battery in there. And then I've also got this. This is an ADATA Elite CE700. This was sent to me by mobilefun.co.uk. Big shout out to them. Thank you very much. And this one is a wireless charging stand. It's a Qi standard, so it works with all Qi uh, rechargeable or wireless rechargeable smartphones and what I'm planning to do with this is I want to get a wireless charging case uh, again obviously a Qi wireless, wireless case or one of those little cards that slips behind my iPhone and then plugs into the charging port and I want to try that in combination with this Adata product so do keep an eye out for that on the channel and something else I just want to cover off up here I have got this, which is my Steve Jobs canvas. It's an actual sort of wraparound canvas, if I show you along the bottom there, and the side, so it's like a box canvas. The reason I'm showing you that is that I get a lot of questions about my pictures. Now, this one is actually an image that I, I can't remember the website I got it from, but it's an image that you should be able to find online. And then I did some Photoshop work on it, and then I got that printed onto a canvas with a company called Snap Mad. I haven't used them since, but they did a really good job. And they also did my uh, Apple Store uh, New York canvas as well. So I wanted you to see that one. And if I come back over here, these two canvases up here, again, I get a lot of questions asking me where I actually got these canvases. Now, the Simpsons one and the dog in glasses one, the little chihuahua, these two were actually from eBay. And I think they were around about 20 or 25 pound each. They weren't that expensive for the size of them. They're nice large canvases and really high quality. So 
So now I'm off to have some lunch. Well, this will be a very interesting test to see how the image stabilization works on the Xperia Z2. It'll also be a nice test to actually see what the audio uh, sounds like or hear what the audio sounds like because the road noise coming from the car is quite bad actually. This particular car I'm driving has never been that quiet when it's come to road noise apart from when it was brand brand new and we have owned this from new. It's now I think, oh magpie, salute the single magpie, it's now um, what are we, 2014, so this is now 12 years old this car, so um, yeah, quite surprisingly it's uh, still going very, very well, we've never had any sort of big expense with it, but I think that's down to getting it serviced regularly. I talked to you yesterday about searching for some new furniture for the studio, and I didn't really share with you what this furniture was and what I was going to be using it for, but I can now share that. Basically, for a long, long time, I have used a sort of glass shelving unit for my amplifier, the games consoles, and Blu-ray player. And it works fine. It works absolutely fine. Now, the trouble is that because it's open, all of the AV equipment is in view when you're uh, perhaps testing a screen or a sound bar or something else that's all on view now it's not a deal breaker but it is distracting sometimes especially when you're testing something visual you want to be able to just see the screen and not see all of the other components so it's been a long time actually that I've been wanting to actually get some sort of cupboard system or cabinet system where all of that AV equipment was actually not exposed it's actually behind doors and I just couldn't find anything that fitted properly, it just didn't look great. But I've actually managed to find this modular system that was actually an end of line product. And you can buy, there goes my alarm, you can actually buy single cupboards, low cupboards, high cupboards, etc, etc, uh, TV benches, and then connect them together and make up your own sort of unit. With this one, because it was end of line, they only had uh, one type of unit left, which is like a, a two height shelf unit with really nice doors. But apparently, according to the seller, it's a very high quality construction. And the original price was something like 649 pounds per cupboard. But it was something like 82% off or 84% off, some amazing discount. And I asked him if there's anything wrong with them. No, nope, they're just brand new, but they're purely heavily discounted because it's the only ones they got available and I think they had four left. So I purchased two of them and they will be being delivered next Wednesday. A little bit of a delay because of the bank holiday weekend, but I'm really excited to get those in. I'll need some help moving them because apparently they're very, very heavy. Um, but then once they're in place, I can put all of my consoles etc in the studio in the cupboards and have them all hidden away which is really nice now one thing I didn't find out and I might give them a ring just to ask is it's got black glass doors and I'm not sure whether those black glass doors are friendly with infrared signals or whether I'll need some sort of IR extender for my remote controls. So I might give them a ring beforehand, perhaps today, so that I can get something ordered up. Only probably about 20 or 30 pound for an IR extender. Um, but I'm sure if they're glass black doors, even though they're sort of quite heavily smoked black glass doors, it should work okay. But yeah, I'm just really very excited about it. So I'm now back in the studio and I certainly hope that you could hear that previous segment when I was recording in the car because I haven't reviewed the footage back yet and when I go to edit it I think it's very important that even if the audio is very very bad and if the image is jumping around everywhere which it may well be because I'm driving on quite bumpy roads sometimes I think it's very very important that I leave that part of the video footage in after all that's part of my day and it also shows you how the Sony Xperia Z2 truly performs 
Now I'm going to leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. We're just coming up to a bank holiday. So you'll be watching this on Saturday the 3rd of May. This will be uploaded to the channel. So we've got a long weekend here in the UK. So I hope you enjoy your bank holiday break. Also, very, very important, please do leave me some comments and let me know how you think both the video and the audio performances on the Xperia Z2. Hit that like button and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.